prosperity manipulation. In this work, we propose a computational model that, given a stereo image, quantifies the combined perception of luminance and disparity as seen here. Previous models, seen here, ignored the influence of luminance and only account for disparity, which is shown now. For example, the fog in the background, marked by this arrow, has disparity and is reported to be perceived spatially by previous work. Our model correctly reports depth as imperceptible, which is correct, as the missing luminance does not allow depth to be perceived here. Our computational model takes luminance and disparity of a stereo image pair as an input. This input is decomposed into multiple bands. Luminance and disparity themselves are two-dimensional quantities. Combining both, our model maps a four-dimensional stimulus combination to perceptual threshold. This threshold quantifies how much disparity has to change to be perceivable. We acquired this model using psychovisual experiments. Here we tested if subjects perceive a difference of disparity for different luminance frequency, disparity frequency, and disparity amplitude. Asymmetry of luminance disparity perception is of particular interest. On this step edge, if luminance is blurred on the right, depth perception disappears completely. Interestingly, if blur is increased to the right, the depth perception remains. The same procedure again showing the correct response of our model to this situation at the bottom. One application is automatic luminance aware stereo retargeting. Our system produces a remapping curve that minimizes the loss of depth perception and maximizes viewing comfort. Here, the original content with no remapping resulting in excessive disparity. Here, the perceived differences to physical disparity using our system. Now, a linear remapping. The error using this linear remapping. Note how this error is overall higher. Here, both remappings are compared. Linear remapping left, R remapping right. A similar approach can be applied to depth of field for auto stereoscopic displays to find a trade off between blur and good depth perception. Here, the error using linear mapping. Everything is sharp, but the depth error is high. Here, a less flat mapping. Depth is reproduced well, but the image is blurry. Here, our optimization that both produces depth well and has a low blur. Here, again, shallow, linear, and R mapping. Non-photorealistic shading in stereo is difficult, as luminance patterns are required to see stereo. We can predict if luminance is missing in order to see existing depth. From this, we can create a weight map to introduce luminance, for example, by a hatching pattern. Here, the error after introducing the pattern Note how this error became lower. The sequence continues with the stereo hatching turned on. Thank you.